Hello, thanks for stopping by. My name is Rick Huddleston. I'm a systems consultant for DWD Technology Group. And today we're going to talk about report distribution um, within Sage Intelligence. Sage Intelligence, beyond being a great reporting tool, also has some functionality to help you get your report out to your audience. So the first thing that you would want to do when you're setting up <clears throat> uh, your distribution is that you have to go to the BI Tools tab. You can see, we'll go there. And you see that we have four main buttons here. We have a distribution settings, a manage instructions, a select instructions, and then the send now button. We will start at the far right and work our way back to where we actually send out the reports. So let's go to distribution settings. This is a one-time setup, and you basically have two options. Uh, it is integrated with Outlook. Uh, for our purposes today, I'm just going to use my Outlook profile. You could um, get with your IT department and get this information and use the Exchange server. Uh, if you're using your Outlook profile, Outlook has to be open when you distribute your, your reports. When you send your reports, your Outlook has to be open. If you were able to get your this other setup, the SMTP slash exchange server, that is the way that you would need to use if you have unattended. If, if for some reason uh, you set up some automation and you want to distribute your reports in the middle of the night, uh, you would have to set up uh, this part. But for today's for today's purposes, we're just going to use my Outlook profile. And like I said, this is a one-time thing. So we'll hit OK there, and then we'll move on. So manage instructions. Here's where we basically set up who's going to get the report and what are they going to get and in what type of format. You see right now I don't have any distribution instructions set up. You can set up as many as you want uh, to create different layers, different instructions, and then eventually you can add a combination, you can add one or more of these instructions uh, when you go to distribute the report. But for today's purposes, we're just going to add one uh, set of instructions. So we hit the Add button, and we're just going to define this as Sales, and that will be our instruction name. So give it a name. So now, once we have given it a name, we have three options. Um, email, we can file publish, or we could FTP the file. On each of these screens, you'll see that there is an enable button there. So to use the email, we're going to enable email. And I, for our purposes, I'm going to send this email to myself when we distribute it. And basically, you would uh, set this up as you would compose an email, because this is what the end user will see. And so, let's see, attached. Here, we have to give it a file name. So in our report, we're, we're just going to say margin margin analysis will be the name of the report that we send. And we're going to send it uh, to our audience, to the members of our team, as an Excel workbook. You have the ability to not only uh, do it in Excel, but you also could do it in this HTML or this PDF format. I am going to send it to them in Excel. I am going to...
remove all of the formulas so that these people that get this, they don't have to get confused by formulas. We don't have to worry about them messing anything up. They're only going to see the static values. I also have the ability to distribute. If your sheet has multiple tabs, you could, so when you distribute it, you could say, send each of these as separate documents, but I'm not going to do that because we can select what we want to do later. File publish. This is also a popular option if you want to put it somewhere on your network. Um, let's see here. Let's put this somewhere. We'll just put it there. And again, we'll call it margin analysis. Um, so when we execute these instructions, it will not only email whoever we have specified, right? And we, we could have multiple users uh, specified, copied, blind, live and carbon copied. But it'll also, in this folder, create a file that uh, maybe other people other people will just go to this folder uh, somewhere on your network and they can pull the file up and we'll take a look at that FTP if you have if your organization would like for you to put it on a file server uh, FTP somewhere uh, so that multiple people can get to it you do have the ability to um, FTP the file you would need to get with your IT department and uh, get them to give you this information for today. We're only going to look at the email and the file publish. Okay, so we looked at it. We have it it's going to a user. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Okay, so now we've set up instructions. Now we'll go in after the files run out in intelligence. So here's my file. I have two. Uh, two tabs based on the ABC uh, demo data that's that comes with Sage 100. So now we're going to go through and select what instructions we are going to use to distribute this file. Like I said, you could have multiple instructions, and you could have multiple instructions in use. For our purposes, we just have the one. So it's highlighted. We're going to go over here. We're going to click it in and now it's activated it's in use and I only am going to send the margin tab I don't want to send uh, this user they only need to see the margin tab so I have to find it so now I'm going to go ahead and hit OK so when I I have set up my instructions, I've selected my instructions, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. If I wanted to right now, I could save the file through Report Manager and it would save my instructions on how to distribute. Um, so that's just a note, if you want to set these instructions up once and you don't ever only want to come in and hit Send Now, you can do that. So I've selected my instructions, I'm going to go ahead and hit Send Now. And I had, did not receive any errors. So let's go look first at the. Oh, wait. I'm an issue. And it will tell you you have an error. And the error was because if you remember right, I said that you had to have Outlook open. When you're using my profile, you have to have Outlook open for it to work. And you see, I did not have Outlook open, and so it failed. So we're just going to open up my Outlook real quick here. And we are going to...
We still have the same instruction. Hit OK. And now we're going to do it again. So let's go look and see if that it published the file. Okay, so now, as you can see, I have received the margin analysis uh, from myself to myself, but it is in the, uh, it is now in my Outlook. Let's open it real quick, take a look at it. And you can see now that this is the file. We opened it. You can see it only sent the margin tab. And if you look, all of the formulas are gone. But I have a functional report that I can take at review and has been distributed through Sage Intelligence. So let's go back to our intelligence report. And on the So we can edit things. And so we will, let's go look at the file that was published here. Users are Huddleston. We just said April is 2017. Okay, so here. You can see that it also went out and created a file for me out on obviously this is just on my laptop, but if we could if we wanted to, we could have put it out on the network somewhere as well. So as you can tell, Sage Intelligence has a few distribution options that if you want to take the time to set it up. You can uh, easily get it through to multiple users in multiple different formats so that others can uh, see your analysis and see your reports, and it's an easier way than maybe printing, scanning, scanning it, and emailing it. You don't have to do anything to do the initial setup and then let Sage Intelligence handle it from there. Thanks for stopping. I appreciate your time. Again, this is Rick Huddleston from the DWD Technology Group. Thanks again.